Hey guys and welcome back to my 2022 tackle bag overview. The video I do every single year where I go over every single thing that I carry with me in my tackle bag. Just picked up this tackle bag yesterday. It's a great bag. Just started using it. So today we're going to go over everything that I keep inside. Alright, we're going to start with start with the boxes. It's probably the most basic part to start with. I carry three 3700s sized boxes in this bag here. All right, first off, got my swim jigs, various color patterns. I got a quarter ounce white, uh, a half ounce um, red shad, three-eighths ounce green pumpkin, and then a half ounce black and blue, all with Zoom swimming chunk trailers. Flipping jigs, variation. These are all Strike King Bitsy flips, uh, flipping jigs. Black and blue, green pumpkin, straight black, and then green pumpkin magic with uh, Zoom super chunk trailers. Finesse jigs basically the same color patterns you guys will notice a pattern here pumpkin green pumpkin green pumpkin magic and black and blue all with super chunk trailers got uh, two chatter baits right now I really have to restock my chatter bait arsenal I've been losing quite a bit of those recently 3 8 ounce white and chartreuse and then I have an 8 ounce this is a uh, black and blue right here hair jigs not really sure the size of the brand just got two of those my frogs Got a good variety here. Pull them all out. Got my, I got two standard size 5 8 ounce frogs. Two quarter ounce frogs. These are the uh, Bass Pro Shops Kermie Juniors. Sexy Shad and Black. Two 8 ounce. And then a, a Live Target Hollow Body Sunfish. I got some metal here. Got some blade baits. Got some, uh, monster inline spinners here rip spoons daredevil rip spoons i got a uh, quarter ounce and a half ounce and in here i got some uh trout crappie panfish type layers i got uh, a few inline spinners i like using panther martins got uh some got a little baby strike king mini king spinner bait there some uh, bigger spoons there for like maybe pike musky or when i'm fishing ultra deep water just in case it's a hot day on the water, don't go anywhere without a little bit of deodorant there. Uh, these pieces here are just pieces from my GoPro. Extra pieces for my GoPro in case something happens with those. In case one breaks on the water. Tackle box dividers, and I got my floats there. Next box. These are all hard baits in here. Okay, first up, I'm not going to take them all out because it takes a while to put them back in, but... I got all my square bills and my deep divers in this first compartment. Jerk baits, a lot of these are suspending here. My most used jerk baits are probably suspending. So I keep a variety of suspenders. Got a couple Bass Pro Shops generics. And I have a one Rapala x -Rap. Top waters, got some poppers, spooks. Um, I did have a waffle plopper, my brother lost it though. Got some uh, jointed baits right here. Live Target, Rapala, and then I have a Berkeley in there. A couple smaller crankbaits. A couple of uh, Lazy Ikes. More tackle box dividers. Got a variety in there. Here's my weights. I got three... I think it's... Flipping, yeah, three eighths ounce for flipping. Eighth ounce, then I also have some drop shot weights in there. And I have my quarter ounce, which uh, I'll just use for standard Texas rigs. Probably my most used weight, honestly. Got some catfishing weights here, just in case uh, when I go catfishing, which I haven't done a lot of this year. Trout magnet bodies and snaps. I love these. These are amazing. And I got a variety of hooks. I'm not going to take them all out, obviously, because then it takes a long time to put them back in there. Our next pocket, let's go in front here. So first up, got my soft plastics right here. Go over my plastics. So for my most used plastics, I put them right here, so this way they're a little more accessible. Starting off, got my uh, Zoom 
Fat Albert grubs, and uh, green pumpkin. And one thing I'll do with my soft plastics to uh, save up room and to reduce the weight of my bag is I'll only carry a portion of that color of soft plastic. So I have, uh, I'm carrying six Fat Alberts. Sankos, got three green pumpkin, three black and blue. Well, four black and blue technically because I got this one there, but Strike King coffee tubes. Love using these for small mouth. These baits right here are absolutely amazing. My favorite fluke style bait besides the Zoom Fluke is a great alternative, the uh, Yum Breaking Shad. Brickley Power Bait Lunchworm. <clears throat> uh, Strike King Bitsy Tubes in Green Pumpkin Red. Bass Pro Shops Bomb Craw. Yum Crispy Craws. Brickley Power Bait Chigger Craws. Lastly, I got some Zoom Brush Hogs in Watermelon Can. Alright, let's go over my least used plastics. So the plastics I use a little less often, I keep in this pouch. Apparently my uh, Berkeley Gulp is still leaking. Got the uh, Rattling Ned in uh, several different colors in here. Got the uh, Green Pumpkin, California Craw, Green Pumpkin Gobi, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dippers, great bait. Four inch Sankos, picked these up a little while ago. These are the uh, Bass Pro Shops, uh, Humpin' Toads. Six inch Lizards, my uh, jig trailers right here. The uh, Super Chunks and the Swimming Chunks. Then I got my uh, Berkeley Gulp Minnow. This ba uh, bag of Berkeley Gulp Minnows here actually leaked all over my bag. Uh, now my entire backpack uh, smells like Berkeley Gulp. All right, for the rest of my stuff, we're going to go through all the pockets. First off, last in this pocket, I got my sunglasses, headlamp. That bag right there, I got my uh, Lucky Smart Fish Finder. And then in that Walmart bag under it, I got uh, some extra clothes in case I fall in the right water. Right down here. Wet. And here I got, uh, let's take a look. Emergency blanket, emergency poncho, licenses, a foot warmer, pack of foot warmers just in case uh, it drops really cold or something or if I'm catfishing at night or something like that. Down in here, cold. tape measure, fire starter, got some vegetable oil in here though in case I have to start a fire. Temperature, air temp right now is 80 degrees, water temperature thermometer, and next pockets. The best thing about the uh, Guggen bag is it's a uh, clamshell bag. So got my uh, spinner baits and buzz baits. Buzz baits, spinner 14 baits. 14-pound fluorocarbon leader, 15-pound mono leader, and some Repel Bug the Spray. Last, last two pockets. Line cutter. And I have a wacky tool for tightening braid. This side. Scale, sunscreen, pliers, forceps, super quick, super Water easy. Water bottles on each side. Spike it. More scent, camera batteries, sewing tool, fish grips. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to do it for my 2022 tackle bag review. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, where I review my tackle and stuff like this, do not forget to subscribe. Put out new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay on the barb. I'll catch you guys again on the next video. Thanks for watching.